So let's take a look at Node, uh, NPM, and uh, Grunt. Now, Node is basically uh, JavaScript, but uh, running in the command line. And uh, so if I do Node and enter it, I can enter kind of arbitrary JavaScript. Um, so hello and uh, dot split. And uh, that prints out the result. Uh, one plus two, three, uh, and control C, control C to quit. Okay, so uh, NPM is the package man manager for Node. I can install commands uh, globally using NPM, NPM uh, minus G install uh, HTTP minus server. Uh, this installs a, a little HTTP server that I can uh, use to serve uh, files from my uh, my current directory. Uh, it's useful as a dev server. I'm, Grunt has uh, a connect task which does the same thing. Uh, this is sometimes just useful for other things, but it's just an example. And uh, that minus uh, G flag there is saying install it globally. That means it doesn't matter which directory I'm in on my computer, I will be able to uh, see this command. You can see it's installed it into uh, my uh, user profile apt roaming, uh, app data roaming uh, directory. And so uh, I'll just uh, do ls on this directory and you can see uh, I've got an index HTML. And so if I try HTTP minus server, and uh, it started a server on port 80. And so if I run that, I can see the hello world file, uh, which is uh, in uh, this index HTML. Control C for, to quit that. Um, so uh, NPM really has two modes. This global mode is useful for installing uh, commands that you use on the command line. So uh, something like uh, grunt you'd want to use from the command line. It, it would be no good if it was just uh, there as a, a grunt.js file. You'd have to run that using uh, using uh, node uh, grunt.js. And so uh, these global commands are nice because you can run them uh, from the command line. Now, if we go back into our, our project, uh, cd dot dot cd app. Okay, and uh, when we uh, did the uh, yeoman install, what we typed in was uh, yo uh, uh, was uh, npm uh, install minus g uh, yo. That was installing yeoman, and as part of the installation of yeoman, that was installing uh, some other global, global commands. Uh, it installed uh, it installed uh, grunt uh, as grunt CLI uh, as a as a global global command. Uh, you'll notice it didn't install grunt. Uh, it was doing uh, grunt minus uh, CLI, and uh, what that means is that it was installing a, a wrapper for grunt. Uh, so it installs a grunt command. Uh, let me uh, try if I cd up one directory and I type in uh, grunt, it says uh, fatal error, unable to find uh, a, local, uh, a local grunt. However, if I go back into my uh, app uh, folder and I do uh, grunt and uh, I can do grunt serve, This now works because there is a a version of Grunt which is local uh, to this project. So let's uh, have a look at our Sublime project and see what's happening there. So in Sublime, uh, we have. Uh, a package.json file. 
and uh, the package JSON uh, relates to uh, NPM nodes package manager and you can see it's got a, uh, a list of uh, dev dependencies it's got a list of dependencies which is uh, empty uh, when we're running things with yeoman normally everything is a dev dependency because we're we're using it uh, to run our build and things like that things we don't ship things that just produce the product that we ship and uh, this is uh, installing the grunt package and then lots of uh, other packages related to grunt uh, which is you know all related to uh, building and minifying and uh, pre-processing uh, SAS and these kind of things so we've got connect here which starts up our server concat which concatenates uh, CSS files and uh, and JavaScript files we've got compass which is used for uh, for compiling our, our SAS to uh, CSS clean which uh, cleans out our temporary directories and uh, and our distribution directory uh, before we do a build and uh, then we've got uh, uh, Bower uh, install which is uh, editing our, our HTML file and uh, putting in the uh, Bower uh, scripts which are, are relevant to our project uh, HTML min which can minify our HTML and uh, image uh, min which can uh, make your images smaller JS hint which we looked at a bit earlier which uh, lints our files to check which we're that we're writing uh, JavaScript in a way which isn't gonna uh, be unmaintainable and uh, uglify JS minifying uh, and munging together all sorts of files grunt, grunt contrib watch uh, which, uh, when we've got our, our server running, it uh, watches various lists of files like the CSS and the uh, JavaScript and the HTML. And each time we uh, save those files, uh, it causes uh, it, it runs various tasks like uh, causing the uh, the browser to refresh. Uh, we've got Grunt uh, Rev, uh, which uh, will append uh, revision numbers onto our, our CSS and our, uh, our scripts uh, to kind of uh, cache bust them. And uh, then we've got uh, various other tasks, some related to testing, like the Karma tasks uh, down here. And uh, the way that this uh, is installed is uh, if we do uh, let's control C uh, is by doing uh, npm uh, install now when we actually uh, when we created the project with Yeoman uh, it did an npm install and a Bower install uh, behind the scenes so we don't need to uh, we don't need to do that again uh, but npm install when used on its own it basically looks for a package.json and installs uh, everything uh, everything in there into the node modules folder so if we look on our system here we look in uh, node modules we see that list of contributed modules uh, that uh, that grunt uh, is using and that karma is using and if we look inside uh, any of those modules we will also find uh, a node modules folder this is because uh, each uh, dependency has its own dependency and uh, so uh, inside grunt we can see it's got uh, uh, some uh, coffee script uh, uh, package included and uh, if we look inside uh, the coffee script we can see that this uh, doesn't appear to have a node module so we've uh, got to a leaf node um, and uh, that's why when you run an npm install it installs uh, so many files because each uh, dependency often has its own dependencies which have their own dependencies and uh, so on so if we go back to the command line now if you're if you're doing a uh, a clone of a, a project which somebody else has created with Yeoman uh, before you in well to, to before you run that pro uh, project and you do a grunt serve or a, a grunt build 
uh, you'll have to do an npm install and a, a bower uh, install to get hold of, of these dependencies and you may find that you have to do them again as uh, other people working on your project uh, update the uh, the dependencies um, if we wanted to install a uh, a new development dependency suppose there was a uh, a grunt uh, task that we wanted to uh, a, a grunt task we wanted to add uh, then we could do uh, npm uh, install minus minus uh, dev uh, minus minus save minus dev and uh, then the name of the module and we're going to try uh, grunt uh, minus contrib and uh, Jade, I hope that's the right name. And so npm does a search for this uh, module and it installs all of its uh, dependent, uh, dependencies. And uh, now if I go back into Sublime and I look in the package.json, you can see that the last, uh, uh, the last entry there is uh, contrib Jade. Uh, it's got the latest version of that, which is uh, 0 0.012. And uh, you can see these uh, symbols here before the uh, version of each dependency. Uh, the tilde symbol means uh, get approximately this version. It means that you can, uh, the uh, patch version uh, can go up uh, and it will always get the latest uh patch version but it won't go up by a minor version and uh, the uh, the uh, sort of race the power of symbol here uh, this means get I think at least uh, this version uh, so for karma get at least version uh, 0.12 and for jade at least uh, 0.12 uh, now it may be that you want to uh, lock down your dependencies. You can do that with uh, npm uh, shrink wrap. Um, and so let's give that a try. Uh, so if we do uh, npm shrink wrap and uh, minus minus dev, because all of our dependencies were dev dependencies, it's going to see what version of uh, each of these dependencies we have installed. And you can see it here, it says it's written out a shrink wrap file. And so if I look in uh, Sublime, look at the shrink wrap JSON, it's gone through that whole tree of dependencies and uh, seen which version was actually installed. So here it, you can see that uh, icon v light. Uh, it wanted approximately uh, 0.2.11 uh, and the version it actually got was 0.2.11 uh, and uh, if there's a sh dot shrink wrap file if there's an npm shrink wrap uh, dot json file in your project and you uh, and you do an npm install then it will install the exact versions uh, which are mentioned in the uh, shrink wrap file